right, got my list. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. I'm so excited. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video because I'm doing my first ever giveaway. Ooh. It's funny because whenever I started making my Christmas list this year, I had like no idea what I wanted. I was just like, what am I gonna do? And I'm looking at Amazon and I'm like looking, looking around and things like that. And that's when I was like, okay, I need to make this Christmas list. And I made it before the week of Thanksgiving because so like my secret Santa could buy for uh, Black Friday. So if you don't have an Amazon list, this is a video for you guys so you can get some ideas and just things that you just couldn't think about. You know, this is a video for you. Just things that you do not think to put on your list, but you know that you need or know that you want. Also, everything that I am mentioning in this video, you can find in the link in my description. It's going to be in my Amazon storefront. So if you'd like to support me and my channel further, go ahead and click that link in my description. I've divided my favorites in three different categories. So I have beauty, baby things, and extras. So if you don't have a baby, that's okay. I can tell you guys a time to skip ahead if you don't have a baby, so you don't have to watch that. And also for the giveaway, you can choose which, which category you would like. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with beauty items. My first item for beauty and things that, ideas for you to put on your Christmas list, and also one of my favorites is this sugar cookie body wash by Native. Um, I got it because it just smells so good and Native is one of my favorite body wash brands and it just gets you in the Christmas spirit. I mean like, mm, it smells so good. And it also comes in like a bigger size in this, but I got burned with the bigger size because the, the dang pump broke on it. So I had like dump it in this huge bottle onto my scrunchie, not my scrunchie, my scrubby. My next item is also kind of in the skincare, the skincare category. My favorite moisturizer at the moment is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizer. It looks like this. I really like it because I didn't, I feel like my moisturizer, I don't want anything too crazy. I want something simple and Ordinary is a very, just cut to the chase, very simple brand. And yeah, I like to get a little fancy and try different serums, which leads me to this serum it's almost gone i have another one but it's by biosense it's this glowing vitamin c and rose oil i don't know what it is about this i think it's the rose like rose oil just loves my skin like this stuff makes me so glowy and it like helps my acne i don't know it's just just my favorite my favorite oil ever moving on i have the laneige sleep mask i'm sure you guys know about this i got like this set of minis and it's my favorite i use it just as lip balm like you don't just have to use it for a sleeping mask i use it every everywhere and this one's the berry one really good i love it um another thing i have on my list is silk scrunchies i look everywhere for mine i lose my scrunchies like it's nobody's business so i would recommend getting a like a, a pack of silk scrunchies i really like the silk ones because it's just better for your hair and there's no like tugging on your hair and it's just more gentle i think around christmas time is the perfect time to try Try new things especially maybe things that are a little bit more high-end or expensive because another thing I have on here is a tanner like a self tanner like those can get so expensive and I hate trying new tanners that are expensive if I haven't tried it yet and then like I just waste the whole thing and I just waste my money so I would recommend putting a, tan a self tanner that you've always wanted to try on there hair care or even skincare and makeup I think that's a perfect thing to put on your Christmas list for trying new things the last thing I would put I out of everything on this, on my beauty list, is a self waxing kit. And I'm not talking about strips. Mm -mm. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about like hard wax. It comes with um, popsicle sticks that you put in there. I used to go and get waxed all the time and it was just so expensive, like $80 a month. So it looks like this, it's like a hard wax and you just use this to heat it up. It's super easy. My friend used to work at a, at a place where they did waxing, a waxing salon. So she taught me how to do it. And this was $20, you guys. And it works so good. And the reason why I wax instead of shave is because for me, your hair takes so much longer to grow back for me it takes three to four weeks and when it does grow back it's a lot thinner and a lot more sparse here honestly i'll just show you my armpits right now is there any i waxed my armpits like over two weeks ago and they're still beautiful there's some hair still poking out but they're it's beautiful so i would recommend waxing moving on to baby items so if you don't have a baby go ahead and skip ahead to this time 
just wherever I want to put it. I have a baby essential video, but I wanted to mention these items because they are my favorite items recently. And especially at this age, my baby is in, he's three, well, he's four months now. With my experience at this age, the three to four month mark is kind of like an awkward um, age. They're not newborns, so they're not just like sleeping and eating all day. And they're honestly, I feel like newborn is a pretty easy age. And they're not quite old enough to be self efficient to like play with themselves and play with toys. Like he's still learning how to grab things. Like today, I actually saw him grab something on his own for the first time, and he's four months old. So these are kind of things that I've been using a lot in his three to four month age. Number one is this freaking nail trimmer. I would get this for your newborn, like get, put this on your registry or if you don't have one of these, put it on it. It's an electric nail trimmer. So I've shown this on my essentials, like I said. It comes with all these, it's all messy, but it comes with all these different tips on it. So it, and the tips represent the age. So you just put it right on top, it clicks right on. It clicks right on like that. And it takes batteries and I, we haven't had to change the batteries yet. We've had this for a, a long time. And I recommend the nail trimmer versus like a traditional trimmer because it's so easy to cut their little fingers. So, and it works just great. And he doesn't even care whenever we do it. On the contrary though, he doesn't like this next item, but it's an essential. It's an essential, like I cannot live without it. It's this electric, again, it's a nose sucker. So this past week, he's just been globby. And every time I feed him, I breastfeed. He just can't breathe when I'm feeding him and I feel so bad for the buddy. So this comes with two different tips. So like a chubby one and like this longer one. So this is probably whenever he's getting older and this one is so you don't go up too far. And it also comes with like these tweezers. So like I said, it's, it's an electric nose sucker. So like to get all these boogies out, there's different speeds. You can do music, there's a light on it as well. But I'll be honest, he doesn't like it that much, but it works great. And I, we've used it probably three to or four times now. And I mean, I feel like it would have been way harder with the nose for your one where you have to manually like suck it out yourself. But if you have that and you like that, go right on ahead. Some things that I've been using recently in terms of keeping him entertained is an extra saucer. It's right here, but I really don't want to pick it up and show you guys, so it's gonna be right here. What I do, because he's still really small for it, and if you have this problem as well, I'm sure you can get smaller ones, but if this was a hand-me-down, so what I do is I grab like a pillow. This is part, this was a part of my pregnancy pillow, and I just shove it behind him in between the seat and him, and it works great, and he loves it because he loves to stand. I don't know why, but when I, whenever I put him in there, he's occupied for like, I'm gonna be honest, like 10 minutes, but 10 minutes is good. It's a pretty good time. And then going along with keeping them entertained is a little seat. My sister-in-law, she told me about the seat and I told her I had one and she was like, you should put him in that. And I just felt like he wasn't big enough, but he was big enough. And I'm gonna put it right here again. You can attach a little things on top of it. And whenever I first started using it, he like sat and had dinner with us, which was cool. So he was entertained watching us and you can put it right on TV or you can put it. Oh, great. <laughs> I put these things in the laundry room and whenever I'm cleaning the house and he just watches me and he has a good old time. Next is this little drawer organizer. So I just grabbed this little one out of my drawer just to show you guys, but it's gonna be right here. Um, it's just a drawer organizer for all his little baby clothes. Like they're just so tiny that they just get so jumbled up in your drawers. So I recommend getting a little organizer. So like I organize them, I think I've showed you guys in a video before, but I organize them in short sleeves and then long sleeves and, <laughs> and long sleeves and sleepers, just things like that. And his socks, you just are able to organize them so well. All right, my next item, is, this is a mixed review, okay? This is a boppy pillow and I like to use it not for the reason what it's supposed to be. So if you don't know what a boppy is, it's a pillow that you put around your front and it's for breastfeeding. But this, this is not the typical boppy brand and I didn't learn that until I saw my other sister-in-law using hers. I was like, why is that so cushy? And I talked about this in my, my newborn essentials video. So you can go to that video if you wanna learn more of what I really like. But I actually use this in a different way. My other sister-in-law, she was telling me that she used this a lot for tummy time. So you put this in front and then like their arms are here. And I actually recommend 
this one instead of the traditional boppy because the other one is a lot thicker and I feel like they're arching a lot and I feel like this one is really great too and the sides can protect them if they fall like roll over and whenever I put Titus on his belly he like immediately rolls over so you can put them on this it can help them with strengthening their neck like their neck strength and for whenever they're gonna crawl soon so that's a new thing that I've been doing and it seems like he likes it all right me the last thing that has been my favorite, and it's been my favorite for a while, but we're slowly kind of growing out of it, but it was totally essential for whenever he was a newborn, is gripe water. And if you don't know what gripe water is, it's it's for like stomach discomfort. So if you have a colic baby, and if they're gassy and fussy, and even hiccups, it helps with hiccups, hip, it helps with hiccups as well. But it's funny because I didn't start using this until he was a month old because I thought that he was just being a baby and he was crying. And I will never forget the first time that I used this and there's directions on the back, he immediately calmed down and he like fell asleep right after. I've used the Miss Remedies, Baby Remedies, Mama Remedies, Little Remedies. It's Little Remedies. I use that one, it works just fine. But I actually recommend the Mommy's Bliss just because of like the applicator, not the applicator, um, the insert, how you get the product out. So in Mommy Bliss, there's this little uh, stopper in it. The, the Little Remedies is not, so whenever it gets a little, whenever it gets more empty, you have to put the whole thing in there and it just gets gross. But with this one, this one you just insert it, you turn it upside down, and then boom, there's your product. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and it keeps the syringe nice and clean. It was so annoying when it wasn't clean. But yeah, I definitely recommend that for if you wanna put that on your Christmas list or just, this is also a favorites video, so I just wanted to put a couple of things that are my favorite. Now I'm gonna move on to like kind of more extra. This doesn't really have a specific category. It just didn't fall into like baby things or beauty. So, oh, I wonder if I could hear that through the camera. So this is my last category. It's just the extras what I just have been loving and I have been using for a long time and I'll probably use forever. And just more ideas to put on your Christmas list. So the first thing on the extras list is my Yeti cup. Cameron stole my Hydro Flask. <laughs> so I use this Yeti cup and I'm home more and he like likes to take my big old cup. He loves stealing my water bottles for some reason. So my Hydro Flask is his and this is my Yeti cup. It's a 40 ounce. No, I think it's a 30. I don't think it says on here. I don't know what it is. I think it's a 36 or 38, 32, one of the evens, but this baby does not leave my side. And I, and you know, when you're breastfeeding, you get so thirsty. Like I have this by my side all the time. And even if you're not breastfeeding, like you have an emotional support water bottle. My Yeti is my favorite and it just keeps my stuff cold or warm, whatever. Even though I really only keep water in it. But moving on to something else in the cup department is this cutie thing. Whenever I was growing up, like my house, we didn't really have any glass cups or anything like that. Like we didn't have any pretty cups and I was obsessed with social media and I would make these really nice smoothies and like cool drinks and things like that, but I didn't have anything cute to put it in for pictures. So something cute like this and essential, a glass straw. How cool is that? Everything tastes better in glass. It just does, like you can't argue with me. So something cute like this, and it has a little suction thing, so the lid, so it has a little suction thing, so if it does tip over, it's less prone to spill, and on the top with a glass. The next thing that are, is my favorites in the extra category is, where are they? Our clips, this is obvious, but I think that if you get something that is a different kinds of clips, so you can try different ones. This one's my favorite, it's actually from Target, but I also have other ones that I have received as gifts and I'm gonna show you the ones that is on my list right here. And also it's in my link in my description, I already said that, but just different sizes. So you just have an option if you wanna do something a little different for, me, for your hair. And if you're anything like me, I'm always trying to switch up things in my hair, hair routine, or just like the way I do my hair because it's just so fun to play around with doing little things. So that's another one of my favorites. Next is, oh my gosh, I just got these like a couple, no, I got these last week. It's my slippers. I'm actually wearing them right now, but these, I just love them so much. Like my favorite kind of slippers are the ones that are the memory foam ones and they're just so cushy and just so nice. I just got these because my other ones are just ratty and I'm not gonna be one of those moms that have ratty slippers. If you're a bougie mom, you gotta have nice slippers. But these are kind of, in my opinion, they're kind of like 
a dupe for the of uh, Tasman's, but they're gray. Um, I do wear a lot of brown, but recently it's really weird. If you know me, I don't really like gray, but <clears throat> recently I've been loving gray. Okay, the last things that are on my list, these are also things that are on my Christmas list and things that maybe you guys would like as well. But just going along with what I said earlier in my the beauty section, if you wanna try something that's a little bit more expensive, I think that's the perfect opportunity to put it on your Christmas list. So I feel like just your clothes and shoes, and especially, I don't know if this should have been in my beauty section, but perfume like if you wanna if you smelled the perfume in ulta before or macy's and like you, it was just a little bit kind of expensive you just didn't want to get it i would recommend putting a perfume on there and the other i also have my christmas list this massager is a thing that you can put around your neck and whenever i get stressed and also just from breastfeeding my neck and shoulders just get the most tense and just they get rock hard i swear they do like they it just makes me have the worst headaches so I really, really hope I get this for Christmas because I'm begging Cameron all the time to rub my neck because it just hurts so much from breastfeeding. Yeah, I think that is everything that is on my list. So here's the good part. The most exciting part of my video is my giveaway. All right, so what you can do to enter my giveaway is number one, you have to subscribe to my channel. You have to like this video and also comment, comment your favorite thing that you, the, your favorite thing in this entire video or which which giveaway you would rather win. So I'm gonna have two giveaways. One is gonna be some things that are in my favorites, which is the waxing kit, some a pack of silk scrunchies, my glass straw cup, my moisturizer, hair clips, and the Laneige sleeping mask. So that's gonna be it for giveaway number one, my favorites. And then giveaway number two is gonna be more targeted to like my moms of the group. So, but don't worry if I pick two winners that are not moms, that's okay. Like you just tell me which one you would like. So the next one is the mom giveaway and it's going to be my Yeti cup, the slippers, the neck massager and the gripe water. So to enter my giveaway, you have to be subscribed to this channel, you have to like this video, and you have to comment which giveaway you would like to receive. And then follow me on Instagram because that's how I'm gonna be choosing my winner and how I'm gonna be reaching out to you guys. So just make sure you comment which one you would like to receive and then I will reach out to you guys which one. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, just make sure I'm gonna have the directions in the description. So make sure you follow the directions and I'm going to be picking the winner on Christmas and then I'll be reaching you guys on Instagram. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited. This is my first ever giveaway. Um, so please subscribe and to support my channel and I'll see you in the next Vlogmas Day video.